Okay, this video is for the Scamologist page on Facebook. This is uh, synthetic quartz. So I'm going to show you a few things here. So right now we're using uh, dark field illumination under 10 power. And I want to show you this, inclu this inclusion right here. This inclusion here, this little white thing, is called breadcrumb. It's from the hydrothermal pro. It's you know caused by the hydrothermal process, and there are thousands of those everywhere in the stone. You notice when I scratch the surface, none of it's moving. It's because it's not on the surface. It's in the gemstone. So these are things that we have to be careful. And this is why you examine the entire stone. We're actually looking at this stone through the uh, pavilion, and you can actually see this uh, seed seed plate like inclusion here. The edges are very straight but uh, even if we go look through the table here you'll see um, very sharp inclusions. I want to point this one out too. This one right here. Let's zoom in on that one. So it looks like there was some stress to that in it, and it uh, fractured. But all these little white inclusions you see here throughout the stone. Here we go again. Little breadcrumbs there. Yeah, but uh, also take note too the color of the stone. So this is synthetic quartz, but Quartz does not come this color green. This is a darker green than uh, pra praseolite or praseolite. Some people say it differently. But this green here does not occur naturally in quartz. Um, and as well as uh, this color blue. If you go to the Scamologist Facebook page, I took a picture of the stone. Well, actually, you can see the color of the stone here, this blue. It does not occur in quartz. It, it occurs when the inclusions are blue and it reflects through the stone giving it a blue appearance but a single crystal quartz is never blue by itself it's probably no it is blue because of its inclusions but um, anyway go to the Scamologist Facebook page and uh, I'll write an article on this thanks bye